uh, real-time alien monk. Um, the character itself um, actually is something that I purchased from Blender Market. It's uh, it's created by uh, what's his name? Jonah Diesel. Uh, A.K. Okay. Forgot his name, but uh, it's uh, made by this Blender Pirate. It's really good character. Uh, with a uh, really really good uh, face facial expressions, I really like this character. I test it out. So this is uh, these are some of the poses that the char these characters can make, and the render the the quality of the skin everything looks like a, like a movie quality or like a Pixar animation kind of um, quality. So I purchased this for twenty dollars and. This is what I got, and currently I'm running it. This is actually kind of moving in real time. Let me show you. Um, this is actually EV, and I, I'm actually recording as well, so that's why it's even slower, but it can run in real time. So basically, the character actually have the all the uh, post bones. Uh, the facial setup and the, the body, everything is uh, made of bones. But the other day I spent more than maybe one or two hours to create blend shapes that works for this character. Um, so if I select the character and look at the shape keys now, um, here we have uh, 50, 51 blend shapes that's currently being controlled in real time. So I'm transferring some facial animation data from my iPhone, my iPhone, and then all these uh, values for blend shapes updated in real time, um, including the the head, and that's actually thanks to an add-on that was used to call used to be called Add OSC. Add OSC now is called MOM actually MIDI and OSC. Um, yeah, so this is something that's running in the background at the moment. It's tracking my face, and yeah, it's actually controlling the the head motion and the facial expression of this alien character. So, like I said, this character is mostly um, bone-based kind of character, and all the blend shapes were actually made from by posing the bone. Um, if I'm not wrong, I can actually still pose this character while I'm animating my face. So I can now can be a little bit angry and while talking um, and I can still actually make the eyebrow, I can lower the eyebrow so the way the shape keys work with the bones um, in Blender is actually really, really powerful. So shape keys is uh, is kind of like separated from the bone. Um, oops, I just dropped my iPhone just now. So let's see. So I, I, I like the, the fact that we can still make facial expression. Um, if I'm not wrong, the bone have post library. There you go, all the post library. So I can make this character like maybe more intense. So let me, I think I just need to click on that. So select the pose and then apply the pose. Or maybe I need to select all the bones. Ah, there you go. So it works. So definitely this could work. Um, I mean, for the facial expression and this actually, if you're doing like a more cap, facial more cap seems like the eye blinks, the eyeball rotations, and the mouth ups and down is really what's important because 
the rest of them is really like uh, can be controlled this way like if the character is really happy or really angry uh, or really melancholic uh, see now the character looks something you can look at the character and like okay character is feeling sad and melancholic and you just the character can still do the talking I mean the real time is a bit laggy at the moment maybe that can improve in the future but but let's see let's get a <laughs> that's a funny one okay let's say the character is sad and it's telling about a sad story very likely the character will have that kind of facial expression and then if the character is really happy and tell about a funny story you suddenly you, you can kind of relate to the character so I, I really like this character is it should be the standard for a professional character design for game or for film or in the future if you're making film using AR hire an artist with this kind of skill um, I'll try to make my own character in the near future um, but yeah the mouth ups and down is really what matter so we don't actually need to use all the blend shape the blend shape is actually adding all the details on top of this facial expression so yeah look at that this character even have the control over the the pupil and I think I also add a the tongue animation wonder if that's working Well, this character is really has a good really good facial expression yeah. I think the, yeah the, because this is still like a rough uh, version of the character so I can show you how I, how actually I created this um, if I go back to the earlier version of this character let me try to stop this so now okay still reading some data from Wi-Fi open don't say alien monk okay so I think so this is I think before I before I bake the blend shapes into the character. Oh, okay, Joey. Somehow the animation is still working. Let me try to turn it off. Oh, interesting. So, but okay. So basically, how I did this for I actually have five hundred and thirty frames for every ten frames like 0 10 20 30 40 50 I'm using the character bones to create all the 51 shape keys that's recommended by Apple for the facial expression for animation so I have like things like brow ups and down and then eye ups left right and uh, I use the ears because this character doesn't have nose doesn't have any sneer it's it will be better but I'm using the, the ear and then um, this one very important jaw open and mouth jaw left right and kind of like a kissing pose this part this actually this mouth shape is really important as well to make a really good um, memoji type of character so definitely with this rig in blender I can also turn it into character that works for memoji for iMessage or snapchat okay this sneer and then all all the shapes that's making the mouse is all very very important smile and sneer and angry pulling mouse left right and then the tongue 
I actually this character have tongue. Mm, yeah. Somehow the head animations still coming from Wi-Fi, so it's the OSC is coming in, which is a uh, very interesting. I already turned off my iPhone, so yeah. This is the the result. Like I said, it's still rough. I did this like very very I uh, very very quickly, fairly. So it's uh, it's try to load the PR man PR man render. Now it's back. Characters now is being controlled. You see my face. Try to smile. The tongue. Try to make the tongue animation. Ah, funny. It's a bit slow. Oh, yeah. Actually, this view is one of my favorite. It's a. Uh, it's like a solid with a hidden wireframe. It would be good for NPR, non photorealistic type of character. With all the outline, I mean, without the wireframe would be nicer. But let's see. So, from from what I found, uh, this matte cap usually the fastest. If you want to do like real time face animations this way, currently it's kind of slow. Maybe because I'm recording and this add OSC can be faster in the future. In the near future so yeah keep eyes on this so that's pretty much it for this bs live let me know if you have any question and i'll try to answer it um, thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye